right here at the intersection of Rodeo Plaza and Penlay, Penland Parkway on Eastside Anchorage. This building right here used to be the old Sam's Club building years ago until they shut down. Home Depot, hotel. This uh, Isuzu Trooper has been sitting here all winter, last winter. And uh, I remember about three weeks ago, it was still sitting on tires. I came to Home Depot today to go do some shopping. And I noticed that somebody, some people have started removing parts. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if this is stolen, abandoned, most likely been reported already. But let's take a look. It's Suzu Trooper. Three wheels have been taken already. First time I flew by and saw this, I was like, hey, is that a Land Cruiser? And then found out it's a Trooper. I know this thing has some value because people do off-road these things. The mirrors have been removed. Doors are unlocked. Doors are unlocked. Uh, ign ignition has been popped out. Center console has been popped out. <coughs> Super trashy in there. Man, what happened to this Suzuki Trooper? <coughs> Look at that, man. I'm not very familiar with these guys, so I don't know too much about it. But I know that they are... Um, like I say, they are, there is a demand for it. Here's some of the locks right here. This is your wheel hub locking. Unlock and lock. I'm pretty sure there's some value in there. IFS. Here's the, uh, here's the uh, factory lug nut uh, removal. <coughs> Side corner is still there. One of the headlights has been removed. Man, there's some oil leaking down there. The hood is still good, really good shape. The bumper is still good. Headlights, quarter and lights is still good on this end. The fender is an amazing shape. The doors are still in great shape. This thing has a lot of good parts still. But again, I don't know what's the deal is. If it's stolen, most likely it's stolen. Usually there's a VIN number right there, yep. So go ahead and screenshot that VIN number. VIN number. Uh, there's no ticket on it and usually when you have an abandoned parking or <clears throat> usually when you have an abandoned vehicle in a public parking um, Usually the police they'll put like an impound sticker an impound uh, notice tag on your door That you have to remove it by X amount of time or we're gonna remove it. So there's no impound ticket or anything like that This thing has like 200,000 miles <coughs> The doors are unlocked, but I don't want to open it. You know, can't touch the crime scene. There's some writings up there. I've seen these kind of cars before. Vehicles that are really trashy, that gets uh, a vehicle that's trashy inside. Um, if people take stuff outside, inside, outside, they write on it. Most of the time, 98% of the time, it's drug related. How are you doing? Good, good, how you doing? Yeah, most of the time it's drug related. Like, um, because people that people that do drugs, um, like the people that do drugs and live in their vehicle, um, they have the tendency to like they can't they can't stand still. Like when they're high and stuff like that, they want to do things, and they start tinkering they start tinkering around in their vehicle. That's why if you guys ever see people that do drugs and live in their vehicle. Just go look inside. It's super messy. Um, lots of things are torn apart. Radios are torn apart because they just tinker around with it. Uh, last winter or so, when I bought the van, Astro van that was from the auction, it was the same deal. It's been tinkering inside and it's just been drug related. So, still has the axles and stuff. Dry line still attached. Frame is pretty decent, not rusty at all. Ugh. Yep, still has transmission. Even still has the. Uh, the trooper decal but I figured I'd make this quick video uh, this is a very common thing you see in Anchorage Alaska here a lot of stolen vehicles and they just get part out and they don't really do anything about it um, this building here is now the Alaska 
Geo Geologic Material Center, State Department of Resource. So this is state property now, where I'm assuming. And this property here, they don't really care about it. Like I said, it's been sitting here for months, winters. And uh, who knows? Maybe it's gonna, maybe next week or so, more parts will be taken apart. So if I ever come by again, I'll keep you guys updated on this uh, trooper. Catch you guys next time.